In this video, we'll learn how to integrate Zoho Inventory with Shopify, an e-commerce platform that allows you to create and manage your online store. With this integration, you'll be able to automatically sync product information, inventory levels, shipping information, and sales orders between Zoho Inventory and Shopify, and do much more. Let's get started. Note that to integrate Zoho Inventory with Shopify, the email associated with your Shopify account must be registered as a user in Zoho Inventory. To integrate Zoho Inventory with Shopify, log in to Zoho Inventory, go to Settings and click Shopping Cart under Integrations and Marketplace. Click Setup Now below Shopify. You will be redirected to your Shopify App Store. Here. To your left, click Open. Go ahead and click Connect Shopify. Select your inventory organization that you want to connect to Shopify. That's it. You've successfully integrated your Zoho inventory organization with your Shopify store. If you have multiple stores in Shopify and you want to connect them to Zoho inventory, you'll be able to do so. Go to the integration page in Zoho inventory, click Add Store below Shopify, click the store, at the top right corner and select switch stores. Select the store that you want to connect. Click install. Go ahead and click install. In the connections page, click connect Shopify. Select your inventory organization that you want to connect to Shopify. That's it. You've connected your Shopify store to Zoho inventory. Now, Let's enable Shopify location to map location in Shopify to warehouses in Zoho Inventory. By enabling, you will be able to track items in various locations under the mapped warehouses, update stocks, track sales orders under the mapped warehouses, and update the order fulfillment location based on the warehouse chosen in the order. To do so, go to the integration page in Zoho Inventory and click Show Details adjacent to your preferred store name. Scroll down and click Enable next to Locations and Warehouses. Go ahead and click Proceed. Map the warehouse with the appropriate location. Click Fetch Shopify Location to fetch locations and map the warehouses having the same name or address automatically. If you have multiple warehouses, you can click plus Add New Mapping to map them to locations in Shopify. Then click Save. You've configured sales channel locations. You can also reconfigure by clicking the drop down next to configure and selecting map Shopify locations. After setting up the integration, orders from your Shopify store will be tracked in the primary warehouse and stocks kits updated in the organization level. However, you can choose specific warehouse from which you want to update the stock to your sales channel. Let's see how. Go to the integration page in Zoho inventory and click Show Details next to your preferred store name. Under Modules in Sync, click Enable to activate the warehouse mapping. In the pop-up that appears, select the warehouse that you want to associate with your Shopify store and click Save. That's it. Now all the stock updates and orders received henceforth from your Shopify store will be tracked in this warehouse. You can click the Edit icon and change your warehouse preference. You can also choose to disable it. Note that if you disable the opening stock of the stored items, go back to being tracked in the primary warehouse, the stocks available in the organization level gets pushed to Shopify instead of stock available in the warehouse level. And the fulfilled orders from Shopify gets tracked under the primary warehouse. Once you have set up the integration, all your existing data will be synced in 15 minutes. An auto sync happens once every four hours. However, you can change this sync time by clicking Change in the integration page. In the pop-up that appears, select your preferred duration from the drop-down and click Save. Autosync will happen according to the duration you've confirmed. After integrating, the products and orders in Shopify will be synced as items and sales orders respectively in Zoho Inventory. You can choose to sync only the confirmed orders or both confirmed and fulfilled orders by clicking here. You can also sync orders and products manually from a custom date range from Shopify. To do so, click the sync manually next to products or orders. For the purpose of this video, let's sync products. 
choose a specific period option from the fetch records from drop down select the start date and end date then click initiate sync to view the sync history of the products that were synced click show details next to your preferred store name and click show sync history adjacent to products here you can view sync record histories of items for each timestamp you can view the number of items that were successfully synced or had failed to sync into Zoho inventory and also resync them on a particular timestamp. You can also export the items and stock sync histories. Similarly, you can view the synced records of sales orders and export the orders and shipment sync histories as well. Or if you wish to view the overall synced records of items and sales orders, click overall sync history. Once integrated, if the item name or SKU of the items are identical to any of those in Zoho inventory, they will get linked automatically. To track them, go to inventory and select items. Click the drop down next to the filter and select unconfirmed items. On selecting the unconfirmed items filter, only the items that are yet to be confirmed will be displayed here. While selecting the marketplace items filter, all the items that are linked as well as those that are yet to be confirmed will be displayed. On selecting an unconfirmed item, you can click confirm to add the item, update or link the item to an existing item. Similarly, you can track the confirmed and fulfilled sales orders according to the configured sync preference. If you have customer orders in Shopify but haven't added those customers in Zoho inventory, syncing the orders will automatically add the customers to Zoho inventory. If you have deactivated the integration from your Shopify store by removing Zoho inventory as an associated app, you can re-enable the integration. To do so, go to the integration page in Zoho inventory and click show details next to your preferred Shopify store. Click the drop down next to disable integration and click re-authenticate. Your Shopify store will be successfully reconnected to your Zoho inventory organization. If at any point you want to delete the integration, you can click disconnect to delete the entire setup. Or to temporarily put the integration on hold, click disable integration. This will show an active status and stop the sync between your Shopify store and Zoho inventory. And that's a wrap for our video on Zoho inventory and Shopify integration. Thanks for watching.